What's going on guys? Now, as most of you already know, today Apple announced their brand new phones, the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, and iPhone 11 Pro Max. And today we're gonna to talk about all the differences if you wanna pick up one of the new iPhones. Now, one of the things that I really like that Apple did is they took what was last year's iPhone XR and made that the iPhone 11. And I love this because it makes the iPhone 11 a lot more affordable, but it doesn't make it seem like it's some kind of side product. Now, of course, with that more affordable price tag, you won't see all of the features that you get with the Pro models, but we'll talk about those features in a second. Now, the biggest differences that you'll see between the three models immediately is all physical. The iPhone 11 comes in more playful colors like purple, white, product red, yellow, and green, whereas the Pro models come in midnight green, space gray, silver, and gold. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now, me personally, I am all about that new midnight green. The iPhone 11 has that typical glossy feel to it, while the Pro models have like this new matte finish, which kind of has like this frosted look and the texture feels awesome. I love the way it feels in the hand and I have a feeling that it's going to be a bit more comfortable to use. It's not gonna be as slippery, but of course we have to spend some more time with it to actually see. Now, in terms of sizing, we're looking at the same sizes as last year's lineup. The iPhone 11 will come in at 6.1 inches, and with the Pro models, you'll get a 5.8 inch and a 6.5 inch, so you have the entire spectrum there. Now, other differences that we'll see with these displays is the iPhone 11 is going to have a liquid Retina LCD display, while the Pro models will have a Super Retina XDR display, which is the naming they took from their new professional monitors. That is also an OLED display, which is supposed to be 15% more efficient. And of course, that is the higher end between the two screens. Now, looking at the back of the phone is where we're gonna start to see some more differences. Some of us weren't too surprised here. The iPhone 11 has been upgraded to a dual camera system, while the Pro models have a triple camera system. And this is great because now they have wide angle lenses and ultra wide angle lenses on both models, while the Pro models also include a telephoto lens. Now, physical differences aside, we gotta talk about what's changed on the inside. Now, of course, these have been upgraded to Apple's new A13 processor, which has a faster CPU and GPU, which is gonna lead to much better performance, which we'll be able to see in powerful apps and games, and much more efficiency, which we'll be able to see in the battery life. Now, we gotta touch back on the camera because honestly, that's where a lot of the upgrades happened. And honestly, I am really excited about the ultra wide angle lenses that have been included this time around because it's just going to make shooting a lot easier. If you're ever in a tight spot or you wanna take pictures of a landscape, you're just gonna get so much more in the frame. And trust me guys, this is a game changer that we've seen on other phones for a while now, but I'm happy it's on the iPhone. Now with the Pro models, you do get that telephoto lens that we had on the 10s versions. So you get a much bigger optical zoom range, whether you want a tight shot or something extremely wide, you get a lot of options here. And one thing I'm really happy about is that Apple introduced a night mode. So that's something we've seen with the Pixel and Samsung phones, where you're gonna be able to take a shot that's completely in the dark and make it a usable shot. Now you can't turn this mode on manually, it's automatic. Once the camera detects that there isn't enough light for a good shot, it automatically turns on the night mode and you'll able to get that shot off. For all my iPhone users out there who have never had experience with this mode, I am telling you now, you are going to love it if you take any kind of night photography. Now, Apple also showed off some of the video capabilities of the new iPhones, and my goodness, guys, it looks amazing. You're gonna be able to shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second now with both their rear and front-facing camera, so that is a really big deal. But man, guys, that video quality is something I cannot wait to put to the test because it honestly looks amazing. Now, something I think a lot of people are gonna be able to appreciate with the new front-facing camera is being able to take wider selfies. If you just change the orientation, you'll see that it opens up and makes it a lot easier for more people to come into your shot or if you want you can just hit a button and it also widens it but I think this is something that's going to make a lot of people happy Ari I know you're one of them they also introduced this thing called slow fees which is basically a slow motion selfie video not for me but I think it's gonna be interesting for anyone with some hair to get some really cool stuff off with it now there's something that I feel like will probably go over some people's heads and that's the ability to switch between the three cameras smoothly without having any color shift it is a really awesome thing that Apple has been able to achieve here by not having this giant shift whenever you switch between the three lenses. It smoothly does it and is going to be a big deal for some of us who like to take video on our phones. 
It's a pretty subtle and low-key change, but it is going to be very helpful. Now, Apple also introduced this quick video mode, which is basically a page out of Snapchat or Instagram's book by allowing you to take a video by just pressing the shutter button and it starts shooting the video immediately. And once you release, video stops shooting. But if you wanna lock it in, all you gotta do is swipe over to the right and then it locks it into video mode. And I'm telling you, this is a really cool feature. Instead of having to swipe through, you get that video going a lot quicker. Now, of course, you have the typical stuff like water resistance and fast charging. And thankfully, Apple has listened and the Pro models will now have a fast charger included inside of the packaging. So no needing to buy something extra. But unfortunately for the iPhone 11 owners, you will still have to go buy it if you wanna take advantage of the feature. And some of the best news to come out of the announcement today was the increase in battery life. The iPhone 11 is going to have one more hour of battery life compared to the iPhone 10R. And with the iPhone 11 Pro, it's gonna get four more hours than the 10S. And the Pro Max is going to get five more hours than the 10s max which is just absolutely insane and it's going to have the highest battery life of any iphone to date now in terms of pricing the iphone 11 is going to be starting at 699 and how nice is that to say to get the iphone 11 at 699 is not a direction that we thought apple would go but with that 10r being the new 11 it kind of makes sense and this is why i like the move so much while the pro models the 5.8 inch is going to start at 999 and the 6.5 is going to be 1099 so a bit more premium options over there but i feel like for people who just want to get that 11 it is a much much nicer nicer price point to start at. Now, I personally feel like the 11 is going to sell like hotcakes, especially since it doesn't feel like a side product, but I wanna know what you guys think. Are those bezels something that will keep you away from the iPhone 11, or do you just have to have the latest and greatest with the Pro models? Let me know with a comment down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'm going to have a real day in the life video and all the other things that you can come to expect in future updates, so stay tuned for that. And pre is gonna be starting Friday the 13th, and people will officially be able to get their hands on it on the 20th. But till then, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace.